Welcome collectors to another edition of Like a Hawk Cards. Today we're going to be breaking something. It's time to break something. We're going to be breaking open a box of Topps Laser 1996 Series 1. Now, you remember in the early 90s and even the late 80s that there was junk era and Topps decided that they wanted to make something new and they decided to be apart from the hobby and tried some die cut cards. So 1996 Tops was in two different series, um, each consisting of a 64 card base set. So this is series one, there is a series two out there. And originally these packs were $5 a pack, which was a significant change to what collectors had become spending on packs. So we're gonna be taking a look at the cards and uh, we'll see what's inside. So there's four different uh, see cards within the pack i also bought football so we're gonna have to break this football at some point we're not gonna break it today but uh, we're gonna go ahead and break open tops laser series one i do have to give a shout out to wento uh, on wento's channel he showed one of these cards off and i thought it was so cool that uh, i immediately looked up on ebay and got a box of this stuff so there is I don't know, hopefully the cards aren't gonna be too bad and because they're from 96 I'm hoping, too, that they're not all going to stick. Uh, but let's take these out and see what we get. I also failed to mention that there are different inserts. So we have Stadium Stars, Power Cuts, and Bright Spots. So let's go back to 1996 and see what these got. Five bucks back in 1996 for these things. So hopefully if I don't get anything uh, for me, hopefully we'll get something nice for care packages. So let's see what we got. Approximate odds per final. So 1 in 60 for Stadium Stars Power Cuts, 1 in 40. Bright Spots, 1 in 20. So we're probably going to get one of the Bright Spots, but we'll have to see about the Power Cuts and the Stadium Stars. So let's see what is inside. So we have, yeah, so they're sticking just a little bit. Tops Laser, Series 1. There's the checklist. If you I'll try to put that in there as close as I can. Pause that, see if you can read, see if your person's on there. Uh, wow, they, so they put one in the front, one in the back. And here are the cards. So we have Dennis Eckersley when he was on the Cardinals. And look at that, so you can see my hand behind it. That die cut between it, so it's like that fire. So this is card number 54. You can see the cutout more clearly there in the back. There you go. So that's Eck. We have Vinny Castilla. So there you go with the with the red, the running. We have Craig Jeffries. This was kind of familiar to the one that I saw. So there's Craig Jeffries. And Darren Dalton. So a lot of different varieties here. And I'll have to go back uh, and see if we hit any inserts, because, I mean, these all look unique to me. It's not like a base version, which, I don't know, I was kind of expecting, but uh, we'll have to look and see if we hit any of those um, those cards. So we get another pitcher. So it looks like this is kind of kind of consistent here. So we got an Andy Ashby back in the day for the Padres. We got one of these red cards, so there we go. This is Roberto Alomar, and we, or I think we did get one of the cool inserts. So this is, wow, this is a, a book for uh, a Colorado Rockies fan. Andre Galarraga, look at that. I, I guess it's got the, I don't know if that's the facade of the Rockies Stadium, but there you go, and it's a booklet with Andres Galarraga, big cat in there, and there's the back of that. So Stadium Stars, that was one of the inserts. That's very cool. This stuff looks really nice. And Jeff Conine came up with the Royals, was on the Florida Marlins for a little bit. I know because I had him on my fantasy team, so I know a little bit about Jeff Conine. Very solid player. You know, he's one of those guys where you, you love having him on your team because he does, um, he's just a guy you plug in there every day. So there's Mark Wollers for Braves fans. Nice. we got Ryan Sandberg right there. For the red, we have a Robin Ventura and a Bernie Williams. 
So shout out to Victor Negron. Let me know if you need this card. There you go. Bernie Williams, Tops Laser. So the Stadium Stars was one out of 60. So we already hit one of the big inserts um, already from, uh, or the hardest insert to get out of these packs. So that was nice to see the big cat show up. Got another Braves here. Tom Glavin. Jose Canseco when he was on the Red Sox. We got another Craig Jeffries. Oh, same card, Craig Jeffries, Darren Dalton. So we already hit those. So, But we're going to get some of that collation because, again, there's, there's going to be more cards than you can have in the base set. So hopefully we'll get a full set of this stuff. That would be very nice. So we got a Randy Johnson when he was on Seattle. Got a Barry Bonds. We got the, uh, the cover photo here of Mark Grace. Nice. And a Jim, Jim Edmonds when he was on the Angels. All right. Another dupe of Dennis Eckersley. Vinny Castillo. So it looks like by the collation that the first two and the last two are the ones that go together. So there's a Wangan and a Ken Caminiti. Because those two, I, I don't know if those are in the same packs, but those were dupes. So. All right. Shane Reynolds. This is, is kind of cool. There's a nice Chipper Jones. Shout out to Wento. I don't know if he has this one. Chipper Jones. J.T. Snow, when he was on the A's, but uh, there's Manny Ramirez. J.T. Snow, I believe, was on the Giants as well. Go with John Smoltz. Mark McGuire. There's a Mike Stanley, Red Sox. And Sammy Sosa. There's the back of that. I think I showed the back of all these cards. So far, uh, let me know in the comments, did you buy this, this set back in the day? Because um, this was brand new. I don't think I've ever seen these cards, or they were too expensive for me, um, that, which could have been. Ryan Samberg, this is going to be a double pack. Oh, Devon White's different. Okay, so there you go for collation. Mike Stanley, so Devin, Devon White's a different one. Um, would you have paid $5? for packs like this in 96. Um, did you pay $5 for packs? Paul Wilson, wow. Never fulfilled what he was supposed to do. Uh, Mark McGuire, there was another, there was two Mets prospects, Robin Ventura and Manny Ventura. There were two Mets prospects, pitchers, that both came up around the same time and they both, I wanna say they both didn't produce, I forgot what, it's gonna kill me, uh, who the second one was. Um, Alan Bennis, this is Andy Bennis's brother, right there. Dante Bichette, got a Garrett Anderson, and a Jeff Conine again. I wonder too if you get just one of the inserts, the uh, the insert cards in one box. Where you know if you get the the high one, you're not going to be getting something of the other one. So we'll see. Roger Clemens, nice. Berto Alomar. Got Jay Bell and Joe Carter. All right. Well, this might be a dupe pack. Totally. We'll see. Alan Bennis. Jeff Bagwell, Craig Biggio, that's new, and a Joe Carter. I didn't, I didn't buy Series 2 yet. Uh, it might be, let me know if you want me to try looking for a box of Series 2. I thought that it might have been more expensive, which is why I didn't, um, didn't go for it. But uh, we'll have to... We'll have to see if people like this, then uh, we'll have to see what Series 2 looks like. Roberto Almar, I think that one was new. Garrett Anderson, I believe this one's new. Moise Salou. There you go. Halfway. Let 
And these guys would have been, um, there's Randy Johnson. When I was big into baseball, so I know a lot. Wow, Sean Dunstan, who was on the Giants instead of the Cubs right there. And Ron Gant when he was on the Cardinals instead of the Braves. I don't know. I mean, for five bucks, let's see. You know, there's Ash. There's Wade Boggs. There's a new one, Chicken Man. The right, white, or excuse me, the Yankees jersey, Jay Bell and Joe Carter. With this small of a set, I, I don't know. It would be hard putting five bucks out to try to make the set. That would be brutal. Paul Wilson. We got, wow, Brian McRae when he was on the Cubs instead of the Royals right there. Terry Steinbeck and Devon White. And Deo Nomo, this one's new. Go. Marty Cordova on the Twins. Have a Javi Lopez. And Paul Mauder when he was on the Twins, so late in his career. All right, Jack, Black Jack, Black Jack McDowell right there, but when he was on the Indians and not the White Sox. Got a Ricky Henderson, I believe. Was that when he was on the Padres? Yep. There. Jeff King and Ryan Klesko. There you go. That big swing. Wow, Denny Martinez. I wonder if he was in his 40s when that was taken. All right, so this one's going to be new. Wow, this is dated. Uh, Brooks Kieschnick, Bright Spots. So there you go. So it looks like the stadium right there. That is cool. Brooks Kieschnick. He's, yeah, he was on the Cubs and just never, never panned out. There's some nice ones for the Bright Spots. You can get Jeter. Um... Yeah, I guess Jeter's the guy you want, but Brooks Kieschnick. I thought, just look at that design, though. I wish they'd bring back this design. That is cool. So we got two of the inserts in there, Dean Palmer and Brian Jordan. I would not suspect we're going to get the uh, the power cuts. Um, I'll be curious what those look like. I'll have to look online. If we don't get one, I'm guessing we're not going to, but that was very cool. Mark Langston had a very varied career. There's Ken Griffey, nice, the kid. Edgar Martinez. And Tony Phillips, not on the A's, but on the White Sox. Hideo Nomo. Henderson. Palmer. And Phillips, just like the last one. Two more packs, and then we are done. But this was this was kind of fun. I want to say I got this box, uh, Blackjack. So upside down Tony Gwynn, Edgar Martinez, and Paul Mata. I want to say I got this box for under fifty bucks. Uh, so if you like what you see, uh, you may want to check out on eBay and see if there are boxes of this stuff. Like I said, I have not bought a series two. We'll see how much the Series 2 boxes are, and we'll see about the response. If you want to see a Series 2, you got to tell me in the comments about that. And if I get enough, then uh, we'll go for Series 2. But, wow, there's a Doug Drabeck. There's a new one. Jose Canseco. Mark Grace and Juan Gonzalez. I don't know. I, I thought this stuff was pretty darn cool, especially for when this was made in 1996. And you look at some of these inserts today, these would be phenomenal, especially something like that on the top with the bright spots. I know, I know they've dabbled with these booklets in there. This was kind of like their first attempt at it. I thought they did it, or I don't know about their first attempt, but an early attempt. And it was just a marvelous job by them doing a booklet with the stadium facade right there and the, rookie, the Rockies logo die cut right there with the Galarraga and the kind of the foilish name on there. Just really cool stuff. So let me know in the comments what you thought about 
Topps Laser Series 1 1996. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Like, subscribe, tell me about your hits in the comments. I always love to hear about those. And of course, there's social media, Instagram at Like a Hot Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching. Like a Hawk. Thank you.